him should be in now because Duke will be able to get anything that they want inside. Washington, UCLA, that game is underway. You can see that game right now over on ESPN3. And we'll be heading out west as soon as we're done here at Virginia Tech. Kevin Hudson sends it back outside. A good close out by Quinn Cook right in the face of Adam Smith. He's got a little drive and a little run behind. He did a nice job taking it away. Hudson goes at Winslow, draws the foul. Dylan Hudson's only a 59% free throw shooter, but he has a chance to make it a one-point game. But that's and that will foul out Justin Winslow. And that's good uh, for, for Duke because Justin Winslow is one of those guys who, one through four, he can guard those guys out on the floor. And so now you have to make some decisions. Do you come back with open four? So open four is great on the offensive end, but on the defensive end, he's not great at guarding ball screens. And so... Virginia Tech will look for opportunities to get him out on the floor in space and use that guy to drive to the basket. Hey, Bob, the best of you. Well, you know, man, we were with the producer coming over here this afternoon. It was going to be a big play game that time. Yeah. That's your confession? Yeah. A strong pat of yourself on the back can I be, in the confessional. Can I be two hands? <laughs> <laughs> Hudson, again, only 59% free throw shooter, knocks down the first. He has had a career night. And, and you have to wonder, if I, back in my day as a freshman, I wanted to prove that I belong with the other elite freshmen around the country, and he certainly brought that kind of attitude to my team. He has been outstanding. Only the fifth game this season that Jalen Hudson has been in double figures. He's got 23 to lead Virginia Tech. So one, two, two, three, four, four press here. Just to contain back into a one, two, three. They're going to have to be careful because Jaleel Okafor is on that weak side. Cook from the corner. He's got a three. A huge shot for Quinn Cook. And it's a four-point lead. Jaleel Okafor straight in created that open opportunity for three. Hudson behind the back. Okafor controls the miss. Virginia Tech can't play quote-unquote hack-a-shack with Okafor. It'll be Jefferson to go to the line, although he's not any better than Okafor as a free throw shooter, only 56%. What he was playing is on the defensive end, knowing that Jefferson could switch one through five to keep guys in front with the strategy. Ten team fouls on Virginia Tech, so this is the double bottom. This is where I get a little bit squeamish when we have that little discussion about should Duke be on the top line or should that be Villanova? Because Villanova is strong in the two areas that Duke is using. Two great shooting and containing the dribble drive. Adam Smith fouled by Cook. That's not what Mike Krzyzewski wanted. Adam Smith will go to the free throw line, a chance to score points for Virginia Tech with the clock stop. 
If I'm Buzz Williams, I'm setting up my pressure to force Emil Jefferson to have to catch the basketball to try to put him on the line because the other four guys out there are going to be hit from the line. Smith's first trip to the line. It's a one and one. That was team foul number nine on Duke. and replacing Emil Jefferson. Bob, even though it looks like the Virginia Tech Hokies are going to go down tonight, you've got to respect their love, the strap, and the fight that they brought to the table. And they've had that really all year long. Russ Williams, he's done a terrific job with these young men and four freshmen out there in the rotation. A little too much poker for tonight. He was spectacular. Cook fouled immediately. Quinn Cook and Tyus Jones both shoot near 90% at the line. Yeah. So Duke has two terrific ball handlers who in late game situations are very comfortable doing just this, going to the free throw line. Uh, what, what an asset to have. Because now you have two point guards on the floor who can handle the rock. And so if you take away one, the other one's most likely going to be open. That's a great point. I think one of the things that Virginia Tech is frustrated with is they were wondering if the officials anticipated that there was going to be a foul there and blew the whistle too early. Mike Eves is over at the table just double-checking the clock, and they're going to take the clock, it looks like, 15.4 up to 15.8. Yeah, really good group of officials that we have here tonight. Wow. Big things on the floor tonight. Ryan O'Connell and Jamie Lucky out there with Mike Eves. Yeah. to make it a five-point lead. His leadership in every way has been extraordinary this year. You know, people were wondering, was there going to be some kind of infighting between he and Ty Jones and Ed? It's certainly not been the case. Cook has he's been able to swing off the ball, which has really helped his offense and his ability to knock down the three ball has been impactful for the Blue Devils. Adam Smith hit the backboard first. Leaning in and drawing a foul is Ahmed Hill. That's the mark of a Buzz Williams coach team. Continue to scrap and fight until there's just no more time left on that clock. Neil Jefferson was called for the foul, so Mike Krzyzewski wants to put Khalil Okafor right back in the game. Kudos to both teams. Duke for surviving another yep. tough test on the road. But how about the effort for Virginia Tech as a two-win team in the ACC to force overtime against the number four team in America? Yeah, incredible what they've been able to accomplish tonight. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best teams in the country. And how about Jaleel Okafor? Kudos to him. The kid could barely even walk even yesterday. Coming in, we weren't even sure if he's going to be able to play until about 15 to 30 minutes before the game, and he comes out with a career high 30 tonight. We've got another problem over at the scorer's table. So Jamie Lucky apparently had to nullify one of the Duke substitutions. He sends Matt Jones back to the bench. That is a big dude. Wow. They had Quinn Cook trapped in the corner. You have to give the immediate foul. Down by four. With about two seconds coming off the clock, it almost seemed as if Virginia Tech was disappointed that they didn't allow the trap and that the foul was called. But he holds onto the ball for four or five seconds down there. The yeah, game's over. I agree. You have to give the foul no matter how good of a free throw shooter Quinn Cook is. Yeah.
Keeps on knocking them yeah. down. And that last possession was exactly what you were talking about. Is they had Clint Kirk and Ty Jones out there, and uh, both of those guys quickly put it to the ball. Pretty foul. And that's a luxury to have. Jaleel Okafor was questionable with a sprained ankle, suffered against North Carolina, sat out against Clemson, was a game time decision. We saw in warm up he would play, but I'm not sure we expected he'd be this close. Yeah, Coach Kate changed his offense to go through him this year and through him tonight they did. And Jaleel Okafor was magnificent in every way, patient on the boat. When the double team didn't come, he went quickly to the rim created some lob opportunities for him to take advantage of his size, and he was just an absolute fool when he caught the basketball on the low post. Kudos to that young man for fighting through and learning how to play at an elite level with an injury. 13 of 18 from the floor, 30 points, shooting 66% this season, number one in the ACC and number two in America. And right now you probably have to say, it's a two-horse race with Ian Frank Kaminsky for National Player of the Year. Yeah, we've been talking a little bit about D'Angelo Russell, but uh, with the way that he's playing and the level that he's playing with, I'm almost thinking that Jalil has sealed the deal. He is the best player in America. Well, he helped Duke seal the deal late in overtime. Duke survives against Virginia Tech, and at least for now, it looks like they will stay on Joe Lenardi's one line. As our bracketologist said that if they had lost this game to Virginia Tech, they would be displaced by Villanova, but they found a way to win it. Coming up next, we'll go to the Pac-12, Washington and UCLA underway. For Lafonso Ellis, I'm Bob Wachusel. So long from Blacksburg.